Hi, welcome. I'm Priscilla Batzel. This is Expressionist Flute Art Studio Gallery's demonstrations and tutorials. Let's have some fun. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas that I primed earlier. I usually do swipe in the, from the middle out, or I was thinking about either side, but I'm going to start on one side. Some Chantilly lace. I'm going to make some random marks. With all kinds of different colors, I suspect. I'm going to use pink carnation, which is a prison pour. Any colors I feel inclined toward as I go along. I've got Miami Magenta. Colors will be listed underneath the video. I want a little bit of Whispering Wisteria. No idea what I'm going to get. I think Mystique is ne next. I wish I'd cleaned out the tip of my African violet. That made me want Midnight Shadow. which was not part of this plan, so I hope it's available. I've got a nice little bottle of it. Probably won't hardly show. I know I do want some Orange Crush, but I don't have a lot left, so I'm hoping it'll come out. I'm leaving that little speck up there because I'm thinking I might want to add dots. I'm taking a big risk putting that turquoise and that orange together. It might not work at all. <laughs> this could be a terrible mistake. This is the Dancing Fuchsia. To be joined by, I believe, some saffron. As long as it's still breathing. I want a little bit of blue. And I've got blue velvet. Maybe I should just tip it and see what happens. Come out. Don't stop now. Maybe I got more than I bargained for. I wanted to put some green with that turquoise. But I'm not sure how I feel about that. Maybe I'll do it anyway. Do I really need that blue velvet? I'm not sure. I might not want to do anything to this actually. My plan was to add some maiden black and lines down and then pull the paint down. I think I'm going to use some of the blue velvet anyway.
I've got some yellow and I could add a little yellow, I think. It's gone bananas with some red, orange, purely pigments in it. Alright, it's time to take chances. I've got bubble. Shouldn't make any difference. I've got gold cell activator. Might not use that. I've got a clean bunch of cards, playing cards, and a bunch of colored cell activators starting with cobalt turquoise, which seems really thick to me. You know what? I don't, I don't want to forget my key key step. Let's go from right... It'd be helpful if the paint came out. Really helpful. <laughs> that was embarrassing. It's open now. Alright, that's more than I intended, but... It's a good way to find out what I need. I tried this with other tools and I wasn't too impressed. Scrape dish. Wipe off my card. Put the paper towel down where I can actually get at it easily. Do that again. Just a little black. I'm going to stick with the turquoise for now. Good solid dose of turquoise. Try and lighten my touch so I don't drag down to the black. Use my scrape dish. Wipe my card off. Definitely makes me want to do some other color. Do I dare? I'm going to use the Dancing Fuchsia. Don't forget the black. I'm going to blow that over the edge. It was pretty colors, but... Wipe my card off again. So I don't mind that, so I might as well do it again. I don't, I'm never sure symmetry is the answer with fluid art. That's just a pathway to make the colors pull down.
kind of want to whip that off. Wipe off my cardigan. One more to go, and I think it's going to be the turquoise. And then I'm going to tip this puppy. Why don't I do both? I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Got to remember the black though. Okay, now I'm going to leave that card right there with paint on it. I'm inclined to grab a skewer, put a few spirals in. Or some, just some weird shapes I guess. might still tip one more time and see what happens. Alright, I've got no time left to work on this anymore, and I should probably torch. I'm very interested in adding a few dots here and there, the colors I've got. I've got great cells, lacy beautiful cells, costume party for trees. <laughs> Torch, get rid of any bubbles. Say so that's it. It is what it is. Thank you for joining me. Please share a thumbs up and subscribe. Choose all when you click the bell if you're going to help me out. If you're interested in a certain method, I have a wide assortment of playlists sharing different methods. Please watch as much of my video as possible to positively affect the algorithm. EASPBGallery at gmail.com is my email address to inquire about a private class or the purchase of artwork. Please feel free to ask questions. They're always welcome. My channel survives with the assistance of channel memberships and PayPal donations, and I want to send a huge thank you out to all my supporters.